Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we're going to do a super quick opening. I picked up four of the Disney mystery ornaments on clearance from Walmart um, a couple weeks ago. I just haven't gotten to them, but I am trying to get the rest of my Christmas stuff put away, so I want to be able to pack these up with it. They were originally $3.99. They were on sale for $1.88 or whatever. $1.98, I don't remember, but... Um, I thought today would be a good day to open them. I've got a lot going on behind me for the other channel. Um, and I just figured I'd take a break and get some of this stuff out of the way. So, I got two with Mickey on them, two with Minnie on them. I don't know that it made a difference. But... They do have nice little zip strips. I'm just not utilizing them, apparently. So, we're going to open the first one. And they are just packaged in red inside. I don't even know if they're ornaments or figurines, so I don't know that it made a difference. They are just figurines. Okay. So, I have this mini. Isn't she cute? And there is no kind of paperwork or anything with these. So I'm not sure how many there were. I think it's literally just said collect them all. But let's open them in. Hope we didn't get a bunch of dupes. Ah. Cute. So they're not just Mickeys and Minis. And this one is a dupe. Bummer. What's his name? Felix? So cute. So I do wish I'd bought more of them. Because two out of four being duplicates is kind of a bummer. But I did get these three. So he doesn't really need to get packed away with the Christmas stuff. He's not Christmassy. These two are Christmassy, so they'll get packed away. Just popping back in real quick. I don't think I actually said Goofy's name, but this is obviously Goofy. And I called him Felix. Felix is a much older black and white cat from, like, way back. This is Figaro from Pinocchio. I do know that. I just... Lost my head there a minute with my F named kitties. So that is it. Just wanted to correct myself before anybody came at me because I know I was wrong. So, little Mr. Figaro. Hi guys, it's Ray. Uh, I'm going to open up some of the mini brand Disney store balls today, the blind balls. I have two that were individual. This one is super heavy. And then I have one of the three packs to open. So I'm just going to uh, get all the balls out, get all the balls unwrapped, and then open them. Okay, so I left the last one to show you whoa, how these open. Uh, they do have zip strips on them. I'm not always the best at getting the zip strip on things, so I just kind of cut it. Um, these ones do have an outer packaging and an inner packaging, which is basically a theft deterrent uh, for the stores because if you do these things or you've ever looked at them, people kind of go into the store and will open them up in the store and it's just kind of... It's a scummy thing to do, especially the Dorables I see it with. Um, so, they've got the outer shell and then the inner shell. These would be basically impossible to stand there and say Walmart and open up. Unlike the Dorables where you rip the door open, you rip the package open and you see empty packages all the time unfortunately. So then you have the white ball 
and it's got a little tab on the top that opens up and then the five compartments that compartment let go the five compartments pop apart so I guess we'll start with that one since the whole thing came off with it and then they have a little tab so we will open them up I absolutely love these little ones the little figurines in the package. This is a little mini Captain America. Oh, and this one's a little shopping bag with Minnie Mouse on it. How adorable. We have a Princess Barbie. Um, yep, it is Princess Aurora. Very cute. And another Barbie. Um, this one is actually Bo Peep. How sweet is that from Toy Story? And then last in this one, we have our paperwork and another little minifig, which is, I can't even read it, but I'm pretty sure this one's C-3PO from a Star Wars. That's terrible, C-3PO and R2-D2. I, I know that. And then our next ball, well, we got our paperwork on the first one. We have a... Mickey's Kitchen playset box. I don't enjoy the boxes as much as the figurines. Oh. And this one, we have a Lightning McQueen, a little RC race car. Absolutely stinking cute. And we have Darth Vader from Star Wars. This is cute. It's a little like princess Polaroid camera. I absolutely cannot read the tiny writing on these. It's like an Instax camera. The bag. And this shopping bag is cute. It's little, um, books. It has Buzz and Woody on the sides. But it's like little Disney books printed all over. Super cute. And on our third ball, we have another princess figurine. This is Rapunzel. The detail on these for the size of them is pretty remarkable. And this is super sweet. We have a little bento box with Minnie Mouse on it. It's even got the little compartment marker inside. But then we have Jesse from Toy Story. A little figurine. I don't quite know what this is. I've not seen one like this. It's some kind of um, set up for a Disney store. I don't know. But it's got a whole bunch of parts. It's got a sticker to label the tag. And directions to build it. Let me look at this. Oh, it's a little display stand for these. All right. How 
how cute is that? It's a little Disney store shelving unit. That's cute. I've not watched a lot of unboxings for these, so I haven't seen that. This was probably the one that was really heavy. And our paperwork. And a Spider-Man mask. Make sure I got them all. Ball number four. It is Bullseye from Toy Story. Little figurine, and it's so cute. The balls are falling apart. Some more paperwork. Oh, we got our first dupe. We got a second Spider Man mask. An alien from Toy Story. And then we have another Lightning McQueen, but this one is gold. Another RC car. And another princess. This one is Elsa from Frozen. How stinking cute. And last ball. Oh, another display shelf. Oh. We got Snow White. Little baby Snow White. How adorable is she? Oh, precious. I love it. Um, you probably don't know this about me, but maybe you do. I think I mentioned it in Adorables unboxing, probably. Um, I have another dupe. Another of the red Lightning McQueen. Uh, Snow White is my favorite Disney movie. And for Disney Pixar, Toy Story All the Way, and Monsters, Inc. I got another little alien. I'm assuming it's the same one. Yep. In the claw machine. And for our very last one, I have... Oh my gosh. It's a stitch with a surfboard. How freaking adorable. I love these. These are so fun. I don't have a clue what I'm going to do with any of them, but that's all right. I'm going to take a peek at one of the pieces of paperwork. Checklist. This Lightning McQueen is considered an ultra rare. And I believe that, that is it for the ultra rares. Because while C3PO is gold, he is gold anyways. And then we have all the commons. So I'm definitely going to have to collect a couple more of these. Because they are super cute. But this is the paperwork in case you want to see how many of them there are. I got a good jump on those boxed princesses. And there's the display shelves. So I don't even know if these two are the same because there's two different ones. And then, you know, shelves and bags. So, um, this was really fun. I'm going to get a shelf built quick so you can see it. Okay, so I built them both, and these two do match. The middle shelf is adjustable, which I love. And they can even snap together to make a circular display. But absolutely adorable. I am super happy with all of these. Um, so that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.